The uh, Carolina Panthers are naming Dave Canales the offensive coordinator of Tampa Bay, their new head coach. Oh, wow. Man, this guy, Tepper. Wow. So, Tepper's first. He can first, control him. So, wait. A, he can control You know what? Him. I think there's some of that. But, so, this guy, Stupid. David Tepper in Carolina, he comes in. He gets rid of Ron Rivera, who now threw. I don't know if he got rid of Ron Rivera. I'm, let me let me walk that back. I'm trying to think of the timeline. I do believe that was right. Is that he kind of pushed Rivera out, went and made the big splash, and got Matt Rule. That didn't work. So it was let me go get a a long time NFL uh, veteran offensive coordinator. Here's a guy. It's his second head coaching opportunity in Frank Reich. Hell, that made it a year. Now it's the, well, I hired an old offensive guy. Let me go now get a young offensive guy. Man, oh, man. So this is getting interesting. Well, because the Ben Johnson thing now, yeah. now again, if we get Baldy said, hey, I'm not reporting anything. It's his gut feel on the whole decision in waiting for Ben Johnson and all that kind of stuff. So if Carolina is off the board. Now it's Seattle, Atlanta, and uh, Washington. So there's your three that are left. Somebody's getting left out, and it uh, may. I think it's one of the two. Two uh, the the one of the, either Mike or Bill. I don't know. I think it's Dan Quinn. <coughs> I think it's I Dan Quinn. I don't know. I know he's getting the second interview in Seattle. I know they like Vrabel. I mean, think about this. If you're Atlanta. You just went down the road of hot offensive coordinator, head coach, elevating him in Arthur Smith. You're going to turn around and do the exact same thing with Ben Johnson because he is the hot guy now? Like, that's where I wonder. In it, ben Johnson's going to get hired. Um, he's going to get hired. I'm not sure. I think he's going to get hired. No, I think the clock might run out on it. Well, again, unless he is Game's earmarked. on Sunday. Well, unless he's earmarked for uh, Washington. And what if they win? It's not inconceivable to think that Detroit could win this game. So, again, are, are, are people going to – are people sitting around and waiting for this guy? Or at what point does the clock kind of run out? See, where if Atlanta – if Baldy is right. Huge if because he said not reporting it. It's his gut feel. Let's say it is Ben Johnson or Bill Belichick, right? And Bill Belichick has his staff of guys ready to go. Whereas with Ben Johnson, you now have to weigh the where is he going to get his coordinators from? Who is he going to pull from? Who are the guys that are going to come with him? Because unless he, what's he going to do? Raid the Lions staff? I mean, I'm sure there'll there'll be opportunity, but you can't take everybody. So, so uh, at what point do you look at it and be like, hey, I don't know if I can wait around anymore. My guy's got to hire assistants. So uh, from Ian Rappaport, I guess the, uh, the the main thing that stood out was obviously he's a he was a first year uh, offensive coordinator mm-hmm. um, in Tampa, and then uh, they loved the way he worked with Baker Mayfield. That stood out. Didn't they just? Eh, all right. I, I listen. I, 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 David Tepper is worth twenty billion dollars. Again, dumb, desperate, stupid. How? You do. <clears throat> you just. You, you, that's what happens. That's what happens. Dumb, I, douchey, desperate. They, they, that's the guy. You, you don't think straight. Listen. Good luck to you. Uh, Godspeed. All that stuff. Uh, the thing to me that stands out to me is. Bill has a really good chance of being knocked out of this race. If he, if even if he has a handshake agreement, like Vrabel was supposedly there the, yesterday, met with Arthur Blank, and then flew up to Carolina last night, and then they hire this guy mm-hmm. right away today. It's not even one, it's just twelve o'clock. It's not even one o'clock yet. I mean, did Vrabel even meet with them? Seattle's just now getting around to the second interview with Dan Quinn, which makes me wonder if Vrabel they is know much Dan, more the in thing. play in Seattle. They know, yeah, he was a defense coordinator yeah. there. I believe Vrabel was supposed to fly to the Panthers today because he had. His oh, it wasn't last night. Yesterday. Oh, got it. Okay, I thought it was last night after his. So he, so they said, nah, 
You just, no, don't worry about it. And the thing that we have heard is Atlanta continues <clears throat> to need to check boxes, NFL protocol, all that kind Doesn't of stuff. Doesn't this give Atlanta a lot more leverage, too, and power? Hey, Bill, we know you want this, but... Yes and no. If, we don't, if you don't agree to these terms... Well, yes and no. Um, because if it's... Well, number one, Atlanta can't turn back to Dan Quinn unless you've got a theory on that that I can't think of. So Atlanta's not going backwards with Quinn, so he's automatically out. Oh no, no, yeah, Dan Quinn's gone, right? Yeah, Dan Quinn, so, I think, is a strong, stronger candidate local tie in Seattle. to Seattle. Nothing but okay. success, defensive oriented. They love him up there. Won a Super Bowl, lost another one. Left to be a head coach. Took a team to a Super Bowl. Had one of the worst collapse in the history of the Super Bowl. So the dude can do it. If, That's the thing. If uh, Ben Johnson is live for these jobs. He would to me. He would be crazy not to go to Washington. I think that's the play too. I think because I think of that the is whole Forty ers and the Adam Peters connection and all that kind. Of, plus higher draft pick. Yep. And the one thing you're not going to ha- now again, if we're evaluating the sort of jobs or whatever, right? The one thing right now in Washington is it feels like the owner is like. Here's my first set of guys. I'm going to put you in position. You guys go out there and go do your job. It's not like Carolina where the owner is going to be like, hey, what are you doing today? You know, Arthur Blank where the clock would be ticking. You got a new owner in Washington who's looking for some stability. So if you're going to go in there and pair up with that Adam Peters as the GM, you're probably going to get a little bit of a longer leash a little more runway, let's say, versus, you know, what is the like where is Seattle at as an organization right now? Not even sure. But they're eight and nine, nine and yeah. eight, but are they just in purgatory trying to hold it together? Or do they have to eventually start to do a little bit of a teardown to be able to take three steps forward? Well, Pete Carroll is staying in the building, even though like uh, he basically got fired, but they said stay in the building just like Bruce Arians, and that he was trying to get the job in LA with the Chargers. That obviously didn't work out because they went with Harbaugh. So now he's going to stay there, and his buddy, Dan Quinn, their boys, is going to interview. And if he has any kind of influence at all, like he would be pushing for Dan Quinn. But at the same time, it seems eerily similar to what the Patriots are going through right now. Well, and why would – it seems like while Pete is being kicked upstairs, doesn't that feel like – a la Arians, kind of like a uh, consolation It looks prize. the same way, yeah. You've done a Feels, great job, yep. but is anybody really going to listen to him? I mean, because no. if the general manager, is that still John Schneider out there? That the, I think Good it question. still is. But whomever is in charge, Pete didn't have enough sway to keep his gig. So how much listening to Pete is really going on? And if, like you said, if they all know Dan Quinn, is Dan Quinn going to be like Pete 2.0 for some in that organization? It is interesting. I'm, I I do still think Bill's going to Atlanta. It's just a matter of just process more than anything else. Because here's the thing. If you're Ben Johnson, okay, so if I'm clearly Bill Belichick. I sit with Arthur Blank. I say, here's the group of people I'm bringing in. You don't even have to worry about it, boss. There's no picks. There's no negotiating. None of that stuff. I know I can get all these guys. I can get Judge, I can get McDaniels, and I can get Patricia. I'm bringing world championship material to your organization. Arthur Blank sits down with Ben Johnson. Hey, Ben, who are you bringing with you? What does that answer look like? At some point, that has to become a big factor for Arthur Blank, does it not? I, I can't imagine you're Arthur Blank and you meet with Bill. Twice. At dinner. At dinner, solo, just two buddies kicking back, swapping stories, you know, and you're just really just enamored because I think Arthur Blank is enamored with Bill Belichick and that Should he be. will probably, it's like, it's this is his white whale. I can't let him get, I can't let him go. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, even though everyone's probably like, no, 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 don't do it. It's, it's three years. What do you got to do? You have to do this all over in three years. Yeah, but I'll have a Super Bowl. Like, and this is the greatest of all time. I'll be associated with them. Like, this, this is the partnership made that I can only dream about. I don't think the allure, I don't think that Arthur Blank can, can, can quit that. I agree. Even though there probably are, are, could be better options. I think Vrabel, Technically, is a better option in a way. I, I can easily make a case that Vrabel is a better option recently. Uh, but Bill, on the other hand, with that guy, that team, and Bill is probably saying, I looked at your roster. 
I looked at every single game. Here's what's going on. Here's how I'm going to fix it. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. You didn't do this. I'm going to do this. I can get this guy right here undervalued. I'm going to make him this. Like, you know, he, like, Bill is the last person to ever come in just like, I'm going to wing it. <laughs> oh, you mean be collaborative and figure it out as you go? And he said, with that, Mr. Blank, you will, you will be iced out because I can't have you, I can't have you go past the velvet rope. And what you, what you sell him on is the, hey, listen, that's to protect you. Yeah. Let me be the guy to deal with all the heat. Yeah. You're okay, Arthur. Yep. You hired a guy. Yep. I will be your pin cushion. Yeah, look at our look look at Robert Kraft, beloved. Beloved. He's a he's a saint to the people up there. That's gonna be you, and you just stay out of it, and I'll take every single bit of criticism. Oh, the steak is good. Ooh, yeah. Uh, who's got some more wine? <laughs> <laughs> when did the women show up? 